Hello everybody and welcome to the last video on graph theory that is Eulerian and Hamiltonian graphs and Truman Matthews. Here we learn about Eulerian and Hamiltonian graphs. You will also learn how to identify an Eulerian circuit or a Hamiltonian cycle in graphs. Now the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So you have to practice along with me to learn this topic. If there is a circuit in G that contains all the edges of G, then that circuit is called an Eulerian circuit. And what is a circuit? A circuit is a train where each edge is covered only once. And if there exists a trail in G that contains all the edges of G, then that trail is called an Eulerian train. A connected graph that contains an Eulerian circuit is called an Eulerian graph. A connected graph has an Eulerian circuit if and only if all the vertices of G are even. If and only if means if it is Eulerian then all the vertices are even and if all the vertices are even the graph is Eulerian. And a connected graph has an Eulerian circuit if and only if G can be decomposed into edge disjoint cycles. So these are two properties which will help you to determine if the graph is Eulerian or not. Coming to questions, show that the following graph is an Eulerian graph. Degree of every vertex of G is even. As can be seen, if this has degree 2, degree 2, degree 4, degree 2 and degree 2. So the graph is Eulerian. Question 2. Prove that the complete graph K23 contains an Eulerian trail. I have already explained what is a complete graph in one of my earlier sessions. So this is your K23. Now we need an Eulerian trail. So if I start with E3, this is E3, E3. You have E3 here and then E2, E3, E2, E1, E4, E5. I repeat once more E3, E2, E1, E4, E5. So this is a trail which covers all the edges. So this is an Eulerian trail. And that is what we are asked to find. You have to show that it contains an Eulerian trail. Now given a graph, if there exists a cycle in G containing all the vertices of G, then the cycle is called a Hamiltonian cycle. And a graph containing a Hamiltonian cycle is called a Hamiltonian graph. Again, a cycle is a path where no vertex is repeated. In a simple connected graph with n vertices where n greater than or equal to 3, if the sum of the degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is greater than or equal to n, the graph is Hamiltonian. So this is a property. If you take any pair of non-adjacent vertices, if the sum is greater than or equal to n, the graph is Hamiltonian. Now we have Dirac's theorem based on this which says that in a simple connected graph of n vertices where n greater than or equal to 3, if the degree of every vertex is greater than or equal to n by 2, the graph is Hamiltonian. So how do we prove this? Since the degree of every vertex is greater than or equal to n by 2, sum of the degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is greater than or equal to n. So by our earlier property, because the sum of the degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is greater than or equal to n, the graph is Hamiltonian. Now, coming to the next question. In a committee of 10 people, every member has already sat next to four other members around a table. Show that the committee can be seated in such a way such that no one is next to someone they have previously sat next to. So understand the problem, every member has already ne sat next to four other members. So represent the 10 people as 10 vertices. Let an edge be drawn between two people if they have not sat next to each other. So degree of every vertex will be greater than or equal to 5 because going back to the problem, every member has sat next to four other people. So the people whom they have not set, sat with will be greater than or equal to 5 which is n by 2 because n is 10. So by Dirac's theorem, there exists a Hamiltonian cycle. That is, you, why is that so? Because the degree of every vertex is greater than or equal to n by 2. What is the meaning of saying that there exists a Hamiltonian cycle? 
we can seat the members around a table such that no one is next to someone they have already sat next to. That is no vertex is repeated. Coming to the next question, draw a graph which has a Hamiltonian cycle but no Eulerian circuit. Given this graph, I will illustrate the Hamiltonian cycle V3, V1, then we have V4, V2 and back to V3. So this is a cycle and it covers all the vertices of the graph. So it's a Hamiltonian cycle but we cannot get a circuit which covers all the edges of the graph without repeating an edge. Draw a graph which has an Eulerian circuit but no Hamiltonian cycle. So I will just illustrate the Eulerian circuit. We have starting with E5, E5, E6, then we have E3, E4, E1, E2 and E7 and we come back to E5. So this is an Eulerian circuit which covers all the edges of the graph but you cannot find a cycle which covers all the vertices of the graph. Hence, there is no Hamiltonian cycle. So we have learnt a basic overview of a Hamiltonian cycle and Eulerian circuit and how to identify and trace Eulerian circuits and Hamiltonian cycles in graphs. So you have to practice this along with me to understand the subject better. So do try the assignment and let me know if you need any further help. Thank you.